Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be trying to learn Substance Painter. Now this is going to help me get up to the next level in modeling and texturing. I did buy the program a few months ago and uh, I just can't get myself to learn it. But I want to have this process with you guys because I know some of you guys are in the same shoes with Blender. Anytime we get a new program, we kind of hop into it realize it's a lot harder to learn than we expected and then we hop out of it so i've made these three graves right here and uh i think i'm gonna take this cross one into substance painter i'm gonna call with my friend eternity who already uses substance and they're gonna try to help me learn you know some some cool tips and tricks and just how to use the program i'm super excited if you guys are excited make sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video let's go all right guys we are back with eternity how you doing man hello doing? guys i'm geeked for a couple of reasons first one i paid a lot of money for substance painter the second one uh i gotta i gotta learn how to use it and this guy he knows what he's doing so here's a little cross i made in blender and we're gonna take it into substance painter and try to give it a stylized look so i don't really know how to how to even put anything in substance painter so i guess that's where we learn how do i do this <laughs> Okay, so just before you import any model, oh. you just gotta check some stuff. Okay, well. First, you need to check that your normals are okay. All right, so let me go to face that. orientation. Everything All right. Everything is good. Looks good. And then you also need to have your model UV unwrapped. All right, let me go over here. Is this looking all right? Yeah, that looks good. All right, and good. just make sure your topology is good, like you don't have overlapping faces or overlapping vertices. That's pretty much everything you need to check before. Not sure if you know this, but I'm sort of the topology god, aka I'm horrible at it. But yeah, I think the cross, I think the cross turned out pretty good. Okay, so now you're gonna export it and let's open Substance Painter. We export as an FBX or an OBJ? Yo, choose. And it really doesn't matter. It All right, doesn't matter. Cool. I'm gonna do FBX. Yeah. All right. So I got my file. What do I do in Substance Painter? So first, you're just gonna close that pop-up. Okay. And you're gonna click on File. Yep. And New. File and New. There you go. Then in the File section, you're gonna select your mesh file. There you go. All right. And then under there, there's there's your texture resolution. That's the thing you wanna change. Yeah. That. Okay. Well, that's the thing you want to change. So that's the resolution you want to work with. So you can do 4K textures. You can do 266. Okay. Probably like, I don't just, know, keep it where it was. Choose, just go for like 2K maybe for a nice high quality. Image. All right, 2K. There it goes. Okay, and then you click OK. All right, guys, look. Normally, Ooh. it should load in. So the turning in Substance Painter is a little bit different. There you use Alt, and then you can click or middle drag. Oh, okay, middle. I got it. I got it. And, and you can alt and drag, and there you go. Okay, so it it's also like... works for the 2D map on your right side. You can also press middle mouse, or well, alt and middle mouse. There oh. you go. And you can zoom in or out. Yeah, so I just feel okay. <laughs> I know I'm gonna move it weird a couple of times, but we're yeah, gonna try. it takes a little <laughs> bit of time to get used to that. I kind of uh, get it though. It's just alt yeah, yeah. and then everything with your mouse. Yeah, basically. All right. And then uh, right click as far as it. Okay. Just try not to click anywhere weird. Okay, so on <laughs> your right side, you have that one layer, that thing yeah. called layer one. You're gonna delete that. Oh, rip. Sorry, that's layer one. Picture. That's like the default cube of Substance Painter. <laughs> All right. Okay, so basically how Substance works is with layers. It works like Photoshop. So you just stack up layers. Which is okay. great because I use Photoshop literally every day. So it's kind of the same the same process of making something. It's just uh yeah, it's just layers that you add up until you get a good result. Alright. But so we're gonna start with getting our base color. So on so you can add different colors. You see there's those six icons on the top. Yeah, yep. you're gonna click the pot the 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 paint the spilling this bucket? pot. Yeah, that's yeah. Alright. That bucket thing. So this is a fill color. Okay. And under properties, you can scroll down. Yeah, you can scroll down until you have base color. That's the only thing we're going to do. All right, from. base color. Click on the color. No, the color. Oh, the color. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there you can change your first base color. So I would suggest just going like to gray, like a gray. Because it's going to be a stone, yeah? Yeah. So gray. I'll go like that. Yeah, that, that looks good. Okay. So once we got our base color just done, we're going to do something very important. That's going to give us a very cool stylized aspect or mesh. And we're going to use that all the time. We're going to go into edit on the top 
on the top left part of your file. All right. There's file, then edit, and then bake mesh maps. Bake mesh maps. And there you're just gonna put your output size, uh, like 2K or 4K, because you want high resolution. I'll do 2K. Basically. Okay, and then you just click bake select the textures. All right, cool. So what this is gonna do, it's very satisfying to look at. What this is gonna do is basically, once you're done, you click OK. It's basically going to give you a whole lot of different maps you can work with, okay? So if you click on material, there's default camera and material. Okay, scroll down. Yeah, click on curvature, for example. There you can see some white edges that were highlighted. You can go check other maps like... Um, Doesn't like Roblox that. only use base map? You can use all of, all of the ones you want. No. Okay, now scroll down. You can also check thickness, for example. Scroll down, thickness. You see, you're gonna use all of those maps to make some very nice color variation and style it. You see, that looks really, really good as a big. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna change that back to material. Okay. Okay, so now that you have everything baked, we're gonna start by adding the first edges. So you're gonna add another fill color. You're gonna click again on the pot. Okay. There you go. So now we're, okay, you're gonna make that a different shade of gray. This will be the shade of gray of your outline. So you can change the gray to a darker gray or a lighter gray, depending on what type of outline you want. I think I'm gonna do lighter for this one. Okay, perfect. So like that. Okay, so we want to have that color, but only on the edges, okay? Yeah. So we're gonna need to use a mask. So you're gonna click on your layer, you're gonna right click, and you're gonna add a black mask on the top. Add black. All right. Okay, so now you see your texture disappeared because it has a black mask. Yeah. Okay. And now, once we have our black mask, we're gonna we're gonna use a generator. This is gonna use the maps we made before to change that black mask so that your new color will only appear on the edges. Okay. So you're gonna right click your black mask and add a generator at the bottom. It's like this. Add a generator. It's like got this. it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And now. And you're gonna click on generator and you're gonna search for curvature on the first column all on the right. Curvature. Curvature. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, there you go. And now you already have a sort of result. Cool. Okay, that's really, really cool. Then you can just tweak that global balance. Like you could take that global balance a bit down. Nope. A bit more down. Nope. Down, 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 down. Lower it. Lower it. Nope. Yeah. Just put it yeah around there. I'll go like at 15. Point, point three. Point 0.3 is a good number. Oh, I got point 0.15. A point, 0 0.0.3 is a good number. Yeah, around there. Perfect. So look, if you zoom in, you already have that nice looking white outline. Okay? Yeah. That because it, it masks out the border. It masks, it, ma it masks out the curves of your mesh. And there you have a start of a nice looking, of a nice looking mesh. Now okay. we're going to add a tiny bit of effects to this. Okay. So you're going to click on your mask again. This one? Yeah, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna click there, and you're gonna add another effect. You're gonna go to filter, add filter. It's under the generator. Go um, down, 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 down. Add filter. Got it. Yeah. You're gonna add a filter, and you're gonna search for blur slope. Blur, blur slope. slope. Yeah. Okay. Now you can zoom in. It will make your thing a bit more rocky on this side. Oh, like yeah, that's okay, sick. But, but that looks that looks really cool. And we're gonna just add a basic blur just to cut down all the rough edges. So we're gonna re-click the last time on your fill layer on your mask and add another filter. Add filter. And add a blur this time. Normal blur. blur. Okay. There you go. Yo! So it kind of gives that hand painted look. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going for. That's awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna add another layer of, a, of edges. We're gonna add a bigger, a bigger edges. So the bucket again? Yeah, bucket again. Okay. Okay, uh, you're gonna put that second layer under between the two layers. Between the two layers, like yeah, this? you're gonna click on it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, because basically, what we want to have is to have that first very dense layer that we just created, that we just created, and then a last a bit more smooth layer under it with a tiny different color. So, okay. we're gonna change that color of your secondary edge to like. A, a gray scale but between those two colors you're gonna have to be a bit precise there not not super bright you need it needs to be less bright than the first one to make it darker than the first yeah you need to make it darker than the first no not that dark <laughs> maybe like okay, that? that yeah that looks good okay so now we're gonna go for the usual things we're gonna add a black mask um all right add a black mask okay then you're gonna add a generator uh do, 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 generator you're gonna add a curvature 
curvature. Okay, so now you're gonna do a little bit of tweaking. You're gonna put your balance to 0.5. Yeah, that's a good balance. Already there. Okay, and now we're gonna do something special. We are going to use our curvature and map a texture on it for it to have a very rocky base. So there's a so there's a part called image inputs under um, use micro details image inputs. Yep. There you go. Like hold up. All right, so what do I got to do? So on your curvature, you're going to put use texture to true. Okay. And then you're going to click on that texture. No, no, you just collapsed one thing that you didn't want to. Oh. Uncollapse. Yeah, you're going to click on that. And you're going to search for grunge map 14. Grunge. Yeah, 14. Grunge 14. Grunge 14. Yeah, you're going to use that one. Okay. There you go. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to mess up with the global balance. Yeah. And no, not that much. Actually, keep it there and just try to change the color. Because if you look closely at your colors, they're basically the same colors. So try to put a little bit more contrast in your colors. Like the last fill layer, try to darken your last fill layer. All right. There you go. Just try to, yeah. Okay. So now we have like two layers of fillings. You can put your first fill layer a bit brighter. So it'll really see the difference there. There you go. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make that middle gray uh, a bit, have a bit more variation in the center. All right. Oh, so you're going to add a another fill layer. Okay. Fill layer. Yeah, there you go. You're going to put this one at the bottom. Well, just over your first. Yeah, there you go. You're going to change it to a normal, a bit darker color. Yeah, like a bit darker, a pretty dark one, pretty close to your base color. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to add a black mask. Okay, click on your black mask, right click, and you're going to add a fill. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going to click on grayscale, and then you're going to search the grunge dirt. Uh, you can choose the fourth one on the second line. This, this one? Yeah, this one. There you go. And you Yo. can add a blur slope and then a blur. Uh, do I add that onto the mask? Yeah. And it's a, add a filter. filter? Yeah, there you go. Blur slope. Blur this slope. This will get the hand painted aspect and then a tiny bit of blur. On. Add a filter, blur. A tiny bit of blur. You can plug up the blur if you want. Yeah, you can check up the blur. Okay, there you like go. That. Uh, so now it's just a matter of making those color variations. You see, I think the contrast is way too bright between yeah. the edges. So you can take up, take down the white a bit. Just try to get some nice variations. So uh, we can add moss to finish this. Okay. So let's add a last fill layer. All right. And we're, we're going to keep this one on top. Okay. You're going to put that to a dark green. I keep clicking on like the color thing, like thinking that's, that's how to change it. Okay. Uh, yeah, a really dark green. Like make the green really dark. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Then you're going to add a black mask. Insert add a black mask. You're going to add a generator. A generator. generator. And then you're gonna search for gradient. Gradient. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. And you're gonna yeah, now you're gonna invert it. You're gonna click there's invert, you're gonna click true. Okay. There you go. You're gonna change the balance to lower it a bit. Oh, actually higher up the balance. There you go. You're gonna add a blur grunge. So that so we have that, so we have that hand painted thing. Yeah. Add, add filter. filter. Yeah. Blur or grunge. Blur Blur slope, sorry. Blur okay. slope. Blur slope. There you go. You can put up the intensity if you want. So you have that more of hand painted. And then you can add a final blur on top of everything. And then insert filter blur. And blur. There you go. That's a really nice cross guy. Yeah, I, yeah, I think this actually looks dope. And you can just, after it's just a matter of tweaking, you can just change the, the tweakings you have. You can change the color slightly. Okay, so now time to actually um, export that. Okay. You're going to go into file. All right and export textures export texture okay now we're gonna go into that material zero zero part yep this is where you select the material the, the images you want to export so you can uncheck everything except the first one which is your color there you go that's a lot of checking then you go into your global settings back again click your output your output director yeah that's the file you want it to export to the desktop yeah and then you click export all right export and then you can just add your image in blender there you go it's exported it's exported so I just it's, close it's, that? yeah you can close it it's export then you go back to blender you Here add I your am. image texture yeah go add your Boom. Image, texture. image texture open open and find it yeah Woo! It look at right, me yeah. i got like a a stone cross now <laughs> Now, if I wanted to make this like in Roblox look kind of realistic, is that the like okay. the surface appearance stuff? 
Uh, so for surface appearance, basically, you can use different maps. That's a whole other story. Though. Yeah, we, we don't need to get into that today. I just was trying to learn substance. But hey, for a first so, thing, this looks sick. Oh, well, right there, the, like the basic thing is like really just adding some different layers, adding a black mask, generators. You can use thickness or angle occlusion or curvature a lot. Like we use these are the really the three main maps that you want to use. And then you just continue to stack up those. Yeah, this is awesome. There's like a blur slope, which gives a blur slope and a blur combo, which gives a really, really cool um, hand painted aspect. And it's just about that for the basic substance painter before. Yo, Eternity, thank you so much. Is there anything you want to shout out? Get yourself some clout or anything? And buy my UGC. Ooh, <laughs> oh yeah, you are in the UGC. Yeah, send me the link. I'll have uh, one of your UGC items linked down below in the description, guys. Go ahead, hit him up if y'all want to cop it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Later. Yeah.